Okay, let's just finish up with, um, let's see, we're on chapter one, section two, day one, we'll call this part B. I'd like you to complete the table. Where's my function? Right here. So here's our function, 1 divided by x squared. And I filled in some of them. When I put in negative 2, I'd have 1 divided by negative 2 squared, which would be like 1 divided by 4. That makes 1 fourth, and so on. When I put in 0, uh -oh, 0 I can't do. That's an undefined function right there, so no value for that one. What about when I put in 0 0.01 and square that? That is going to be just like taking this and squaring it, isn't it? Because the squaring is going to turn that to a positive. So I would get out, um, oops, I'm off, I'm off. This would have been 100 when I put in 0 0.1. When I put in 0 0.01, these two are going to have very um, or identical fun values. So that will be 10,000. And I can basically just cheat here and pick up these values. Because so squaring a negative makes it positive. And left side of the chart equals the right side of the chart. And that explains why this graph looks symmetrical too, doesn't it? From the left side and the right side squaring it, they turn out to be um, same values as on our denominators. Okay, so now the qu question about limits. What's happening as x approaches 0? What's happening as x approaches 0 is that I'm coming in from the left side. Ooh, that's sending me sky high. As I come in from the right side, that too is sending me sky high. This does not end up settling on a number, does it? This limit does not exist. If I wanted to, I could give um, information like it is headed to infinity, it's headed to positive infinity. That lets a, a person that's interpreting this know that it's headed you know, very, very high. But does not exist is the technical answer because infinity is a concept, not a number. And since this limit does not approach a number, it does not exist. This would be an example of unbounded behavior. It's unbounded behavior at our x value of 2. Next one. Let's look at the limit as x approaches 2 minus sign that means from the left, correct? From the left. And our function is 5 divided by x minus 2. What happens when x is 2? Well, that gives me 5 over 2 minus 2. That gives me 5 divided by 0, which means this is undefined. The domain on this function would be the set of all x's, such that x is a member of the real numbers, but cannot be equal to 2. But every other value of x would be just fine. Now, if I look at the picture of this, as I approach 2, well, we know that 2 is like an asymptote, isn't it? x equals 2 is an asymptote. We are not allowed to use 2. It's not part of the domain. But as I approach 2, uh, from the left side, so I'm really kind of focusing in on this side of my graph, it looks like it is headed to negative infinity, which technically means that this function does not have a limit. So it approaches negative infinity, does not exist would be my technical answer. And this would be another example of unbounded behavior for a one-sided limit because we were just coming in from the left side. Unbounded behavior. This one's a cool function. <laughs> limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of 1 over x. So here's our function, isn't it? And I took a moment and I graphed that out for you. And what would happen here is this thing went crazy. It is oscillating. This is an example of an oscillating function. So it has oscillating behavior at our value of x approaching 0. It is, you know, going back and forth, back and forth so quickly that it's not settling in on any one number. This would be a does not exist example as well. Okay. And this is the homework that we're going to work on. So you are done. Thank you.